Hello, this is Craig from bitsbox.co.uk. In this video we are looking at October 2017's edition of White Dwarf magazine. So as you can see on the front, um, we have the Shade Spire um, bit of artwork. It says, Into the Mirrored Sea. We introduce Warhammer Underworld's Shade Spire. So as we open it up, it has a big advert for Necromunda which is coming soon. Very much looking forward to that. So, um, I, as always, editor's letter says um, Shade Spy and Death Guard. We have White Dwarf team on the left, as always. We have the contents. So Planet Warhammer is all about the recent releases. And there's quite a few. There is quite a few. So of course we've got Shade Spy, and um, that's £40. Um, they also have some sleeves, which I guess I just fought for the cards, and they're five pounds. And we have lots of Death Guard. So we have the Death Shroud, which we are, we've already seen, the Black Lord Terminators, which are currently up for pre-order as um, I record this video. And um, they're very cool. We have the Plague Marines now. Um, the Icon Bearer and the Champion are separate models. £15 each, and then we've got Plague Wings here. I don't know how many is in the box, but we've got seven pictured, which is, of course, the favoured number of Nurgle. Um, it's £30, so if it's £30 for seven, then... I don't know, it could be a little bit on the pricey side. Um, you do get, like, a, a little icon bearer and a champion, so you don't have to buy these guys. They're just alternative miniatures, but if you wanted, like, a full squad of ten, then even... Spending £60 on all these still only gives you 9 miniatures, which is a bit of a bugger. Um, yeah, but I don't know. It doesn't actually say how many there there is. So there could be 10. I could be wrong. But um, there's only 7 pictured. And of course, um, this miniature is just worth it for the little Nurgling. He's just amazing. We also have the Plague Burst Crawler. Um, that is going to be available on the 7th of October, so look over pre-orders very soon. I actually quite like her. Um, it's not the best tank in the game. It's it's a little bit ugly, but it's okay. Um, I'll probably pick one up. They're £40, but it's quite a large tank. But I'll just I'll probably pick one up eventually. Um, of course, we have the bloke drone. Um, they're £30, but you get lots of different weapon options, including the, the uh, mower, which looks very cool. Um, yeah. I really like it. Um, really nice detail on the miniature. It's very cool. Really like it. So we have a Foul Blightspawn. Again, um, £15. The same as the Plague Surgeon. And I've even got the Flesh Mower as the Weapon of the Month. And there's a little bit like focusing on the different types of weapons they have. I really like the look of their sort of flamer weapons. I think they're quite cool. And we have the bi Biologus Putrefier. He's the guy with all the grenades and stuff on his back. We have the Tallyman. I'm a big fan of the Tallyman. So I need to be picking one of him up. And we've got Typhus. A miniature that I really just don't like. I <laughs> um, don't like Typhus at all. I'm hoping I can convert him up and make him look a bit nicer using the Death Shroud pieces. That's something I'll try to do, I think. And um, we have Codex Astra Militarum, and also data cards for Astra Militarum coming out um, very soon as well. And um, we've also already seen the Firestorm stuff, and um, Firestorm's very cool. Um, yeah, I should hopefully be picking that up. I really love these boxes, and um, especially these two. Um, so if you're looking to get start a new force um, in Age of Sigma, then either one of these I highly recommend. Big fan of that one. Very tempted to get it eventually um, myself. Um, we have Battlefield in a box. Now um, this sort of came out of the blue. It seems pretty cool. Um, Moonbase Calasius or Clasus. Um, it's actually double sided so you have like a Mars sort of themed board as well which looks really nice. Um, yeah pretty cool. Um, I'll probably be picking it up. Maybe I'll do a review. Um, interesting size. It's um, Five foot six by three foot four. It's apparently size what fits on most dining room tables. Apparently, um, it's like 
they're push fit plastic ruins and objective markers and um, they're sort of like sort of fold away card. There's four card boards that fold out. Um, I really like it, I just worry how long it will last. So, but yeah, I'll certainly definitely pick it up. Also says, um, okay, yeah, just reading about the ruins, they're also in like scrag brown coloured plastic, so you don't have to paint them up, but they look like this. Now, a little bit about Forge World, looking at the um, Acquisitor. I'm a big fan of. Doesn't really fit in very well with a lot of the 40k aesthetic, but I don't know, I quite like it. I think it's quite cool. Now a little bit about Necromunda. I am just so excited for Necromunda. Um, I would assume it's going to be November's big release, but we'll see. Um, we have Black Library. And um, we have video game news, a little bit about Dawn of War 3, there's some new DLC for that. Have an advert for the Siddle Paint app. And the contact section. So there's a big section about Total War Warhammer 2, as it's um, recently been released. And um, my computer doesn't even run the first one, so I've got no chance for that. And um, we've got a section looking at Shadespire. Um, so it tells you all about the game, how the game works, and that's so well worth reading through if you're interested in um, picking the game up. Um, it also has a little sort of ongoing battle report as well. Very cool. Um, we have a little sneak peek at the expansion boxes as well. Really tempted to pick up the Death one. Um, the miniatures look amazing. I'm a big fan of them. And there's also one for the Iron Skulls. Hopefully they'll do more in the future as well. They're all different coloured plastics to match for Force, which I like. Although I don't know why um, the Stormcast are blue and not gold, but... Yeah, really cool. So we have designer's notes all about Nurgle. Lots of Nurgle stuff. Nice concept art. It's really interesting to see how they can just go from art to the miniatures so so well. It's so cool. A little bit about iron armor, as you know, that most of them have sort of a Mark III iron armor. Yeah, so lots lots of stuff about them. So we have thirty years of golden demon. Um, some beautiful miniatures to look at here. That's always been one of my favourites. Just then. Just incredible work. And of course, um, this Nagash, if you've not seen this Nagash yet, then oh, it is just incredible. I absolutely love the big thing on the seat, just made up of ghouls and vargolfs and stuff. It's just amazing. So clever. I suppose like that guy who looks like he's sort of trapped, trying to get out. So so well done. Of course, Nagash as well, just being converted away he is. And, the non metallic metal, this is like that's worthy of any Slayer sword. And then we have the silver and bronze entries from the diorama category as well. Um, as amazing as they are, they're, they're a tough competition with Nagash, but so good. I love the nits on there. So we have a tale of four warlords, and um, having a massive battle between the four armies. Um, I'll just skip through it, we don't want to give away who ends up winning that. Now we again we have a battle report as well straight after that, which is um, Skaven versus Sylvaneth. Really nice. It's nice that not all the battle reports just involve the latest releases like they used to back in the old days. They used to always just have the army of the month playing against whatever. Um, so it's nice they just have these battle reports between sort of just, uh, random armies. It's a really lovely Skaven Force actually as well. Um, so again, we're going to skip through because we don't want to give away the result. So, I've gone too far now. Oh no. Okay, so we have a massive Gretchen army. And this army, as you might have just seen briefly there, is just absolutely incredible. 
love the little multicolored squigs I got, but the amber, the bright red color scheme with the um, sort of turquoise accents is just absolutely lovely. So yeah, it's a whole army of Gretchen essentially, and some amazing conversions. And this is what I want to see more in White Dwarf, just more conver conversions. And um, this this army does not disappoint. Um, absolutely incredible stuff. I love him. He's even got like a little mustache. That's incredible. And he's actually called Colonel Mustache. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. I absolutely love that. I really like what they've done there, actually. That's really cool. We've got magic. they got the pirate. Gorgonaut. Nah, that's an incredible, absolutely incredible army. So, illuminations, and we have the forces of order. So, lots of different artwork from the forces of order. And little bits about Black Library. And Blanditsu's back. Missed it for a few months. And we have a few warbands to look at. So I really like this one with like the sort of um, pale turquoisey blue colour. Um, you, you don't have to go all sort of drab dark colours and blend it too. You can have some bright colours in. Um, as long as you can sort of make them sort of fit. And I think there's this, this um, warband does that really well. I really like how you've got the blue but it's still like quite muddy at the base so it doesn't like it's not really overpowering. It's, it's a lovely lovely little warband and I'm a big fan of Band Jitsu as mostly regular viewers will know. Um, so yeah we have another warband here. Really nice. And then the final one here, the Church of the, the Red Amphenaeum. Again, lovely. I'm not quite sure about that guy's head though, he looks a bit flat but funny. I really like that guy with the two fingers up. That's so cool. I'll be reading through them to see um, how they convert some of these. That's always the best bit, just looking at the conversions and how, they, how they're how they done. But yeah, love Brand Jitsu and that guy is very cool. So we have Battleground, showing off a gaming table. This is one of the ones at Warhammer World. Um, just amazing. Um, we were talking just yesterday actually about maybe converting something up as a base for one of the sky ships, like a mountain or something, because they just don't stay on their flying bases very well. No idea how that one's kept up by the ladder, I can only assume they photoshopped out a big support stand. And so they use pillow stuffing for the clouds. That's actually um, exactly the same thing as what we used. If you watched our battle report with the Caldron Overlords a while ago and we had the one floating on the clouds, that's exactly the same stuff. So this is a cool little ch section. It's all about creating your own chapter for Primaris Space Marines. And they sort of go over that you need a name, chapter symbol, colour scheme. And we've got your um, primogenitor, which is essentially... Um, which Primax gene seed they use. And they've got several examples of different chapters. Now what's very cool, just hidden away in this little box here, is create your own chapter competition. Um, I guess we'll see this up on the Warhammer community very soon, if not already. Um, essentially you just paint up an intercessor in a made up colour scheme with a made up chapter symbol, etc. and home world and stuff like that. And the winner will actually receive a Space Marine painted up by the Heavy Metal team in their colour scheme. But not only that, um, their chapter will make an official appearance in the background of Warhammer 40,000, which I think is really cool. Um, they did a similar thing years ago with the C and the Celestial, Celestial Lions actually won that. So that's really cool. Maybe I could, maybe I could enter mine in. Who knows? Or maybe even come up with a new, brand new one. We shall see. Um, so there's lots of paint splatter, um, looking at how Typhus was painted. We also have a white Death Guard Marine in their like pre-heresy colours. We have some Cadians um, in diff different colours and also um, some different types of 
um, guard regiments as well, and how they're converted up as well. And that's just a simple head swap. And then we have this guy as well, the um, Ventrillion Nobles. But I really like that. There's a little reader's question about painting faces as well. Yeah, that was a really nice conversion actually. Um, whole regiment and then will look very cool. And then we have um, Warhammer World, Temporal Distort. Distort. Looking at a night issue from 1994. See, a nice little bit of scratch built terrain there, that's what we need, more of that. I suppose that's made out of, oh, it's actually made out of like, yeah, a little bunker made out of card like they give you that. So that's quite cool. Something like that's quite, quite nice. Now you could wrap it around some polystyrene or something to make it sturdy, that'd be quite a good little bit of ter terrain. So yeah, very old white dwarf, way, be way before my time. Um, way before my time. <laughs> Um, we have readers models, um, absolutely love the farce here. I think that's incredible. Very rarely do, you, do, do we get disappointed by this section, that's for sure. And then we have a spotlight. Love for him. Work on that, the colours are amazing. Might have to steal that idea. Let's nice see a Battlefleet Gothic ship as well. And then we just have in the bunker. Let me look at what the White Dwarf team are working on. Mainly primarily Space Marines, but I looked at it. And there's a little bit about their league as well. And then we have a lovely um, battlesuit, a Storm Surge. I really love the grey colour scheme. So. Next month is Necromunda, more Shade Spire and some new codexes as well. Um, Paint Splat, Amazon Parade, Golden Demon, Heavy Metal, Blanjutsu and much, much more. So yeah, um, even more codexes are coming out. I know um, I've heard they want to push loads of them out before Christmas, so, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. Which normally means we don't see a lot of new stuff, unfortunately, for them, but yeah, Necromunda is probably going to be the big release next month. So yeah, that was October's um, White, White Dwarf. So yeah, I was just thinking about um, next month, because um, the last couple of Novembers we've had Horace Heresy stuff, and I'm assuming we're not go going to have that next month. We'll have Necromunda instead, so not that disappointed, mind you. I am so excited about Necromunda, so... Um, Thanks to everyone for watching this video. You can, of course, like and subscribe. And um, I'll see you in the next video.